Welcome to this edition of the Dean's Video Newsletter. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you here to the Robarts Research Institute. We actually happen to be inside my lab uh, within the Institute itself. This lab uh, is part of the original building, uh, 25 years old now. The original founders uh, for the Robarts Research Institute had a tremendous vision uh, for what they wanted to achieve. I think only now are we actually starting to see how this is coming to fruition. Uh, the ability to take research from the pure cell biology where we look at basic mechanisms of how disease occurs through to understanding how we apply it in clinical populations is what we consider to be translational research. If we extend that a little bit further, it's how do we change population health, something that we've talked about a little bit in the past with regards to the focus of the school. The Robarts Research Institute was ahead of its time in recognizing the need to have a concentrated facility that would allow researchers to come together, both basic scientists as well as clinicians, to answer these critical questions. Over the 25 years that it's been in place, it's become a world leader, particularly for areas such as medical imaging, its neurosciences, its stem cell biology, its transplantation biology. All of these things were founders early on in the course of that. Now, if you look down these hallways, you're going to see investigators who are working intensively on cardiovascular diseases, looking at how the heart works, understanding new vascular imaging techniques that will allow us to advance even further in stroke management, right beside individuals who are looking at such fundamental diseases as neurodegenerative disorders and how they're communicated amongst cells or even amongst individuals for that. It's a vision that I think our founders saw uh, and followed through on. This will be celebrated. Uh, we have the Taylor Symposium and our Leaders in Innovation Dinner coming up on the 21st of November. This is an opportunity to celebrate the excellence of our research here, not only within the Robarts, but within the Schulich School and the health sector of the university in and of itself. Uh, that evening will be hosted uh, by Heather Hiscox, and our guest speaker will be the actor and advocate, Michael J. Fox. Many of you will know Michael from his acting forays, Depending on how old you are, you're going to remember different aspects of them. Uh, but for me, it's Back to the Future uh, was really the, the, the striking one for there. What's happened, though, over the course of the last 20 years of his life is that as he's been afflicted with Parkinson's disease, he's become a tremendous advocate uh, for research. He's probably one of the strongest voices that we have for understanding basic cellular research and how do we apply that to treatments of Parkinson's disease. When one looks at the type of foundation research that he has, it has a wide breadth of applicability to what we do here at the Robarts Research Institute. So for the 25th anniversary, this is an excellent individual for uh, us to have as a speaker. I think you're going to enjoy it. Tickets are a hot commodity, however, so you need to get online and get them ordered very quickly. Finally, I do want to speak to you briefly about the United Way campaign. Uh, this is a campaign which helps serve the underserved in our community. It's a tremendous initiative to which the university takes a lead role in it. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry has always been a strong contributor uh, to this. Last year we raised over $105,000 towards this initiative. Surprisingly though, it was done on a rather low rate of turnout for it. So what it tells us is that individuals within our faculty give and give generously. Imagine what we could do if more of us did that. So when your card comes around, sign up. You're helping people in the community who are less fortunate and a tremendous deserving initiative. So thank you for considering that.